All right, it's now time for interactive. Remember, you can download the Sportsmax app from the Google Play or the App Store and watch a variety of live sporting action, including the ongoing Africa Cup of Nations and the Winter Youth Olympic Games. Also, check out our clips on X, Instagram and YouTube. Well, on Monday, we discussed Jason Holder's concerns about the future of Test Cricket. Let's get some reactions from YouTube. Okay, so we have Frivor saying West Indies Cricket Board has been historically poor at preserving West Indian players' earnings. We need to have better sponsors and revenue generation. It is failure of the West Indies Board. The ICC is a joke. This user says, I know it's tough, Jason. Still, we'll have to toll on. Toil on. Okay, we have eight francs saying many people predicted that T20 would destroy Test cricket. This was predicted years ago. Jassy Brown, that suggestion holder gave might just be the solution to our problem. All right, so a lot of people, you know, of course, being angry at the ICC cricket board, being upset at West Indies cricket board, speaking about test cricket and the decline in players' interest. Yeah, well, one of the first responses there spoke about um, the ability to fund, you know, the, the players in, in, in the right way. But, you know, unfortunately, sponsors are attracted to winners. And uh, if this West Indies team was having the success that they had in the late 70s through to the 80s and mid 90s, I think there would be a lot more willingness from sponsors to be a attached to the team. And uh, they have had some level of sponsorship to keep the game going to a certain extent. But because they haven't been winning, it impedes their ability to attract major sponsorship. And you know that is just a reality that we've got to face. Um, if the team starts performing better, then it will attract more financial support. Yeah, there is a comment that we did not take um, where someone said that it will be difficult to put in place the suggestion coming from Jason Holder just because of the different seasons. And I think I had made mention of it. I think I made mention of it yesterday as well, um, that the Australian summer, the New Zealand summer is different from the summer in the Caribbean. Um, and plus the fact that as well that every country wants to have a T20 league but it be so it becomes difficult. The problem I'm having Lance and Mariah is that it does not seem as if the ICC is trying in any way to fix the problem. It's as if when it, they're okay with things as they are, um, India, Australia, um, England dominating the game both on the field and financially and everything is well with the world. Yeah. Do you think it's only because they're doing well, like, results-wise? Because they always say you have a voice only when, you know, you're doing well. Well, they're, they're powerful nations, aren't they? Especially India. They're, they're powerful cricketing nations that generate a lot of funds because of the popularity of the sport there and the sort of crowds that they, they attract to, to their events. I want to make the point quickly, too, that the suggestion was made yesterday in the way that FIFA has a, a window for, yeah. um, you know, non-FIFA events. Yeah. Um, it, 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 it isn't as seamless with cricket because... Which, is the, point, which is the point yeah. I was just making, Lance, yeah. about the person who made the comment yeah. on our YouTube page. That's exactly what yeah. where they and were not, going. Not, not only for the fact that it would be difficult to do the same thing, but the, the windows are different. Yes. Yes. It, when FIFA has a window you know, a FIFA window for international football, it is usually for a week or so, or 10 days. <laughs> the IPL runs for about six or seven weeks. Yes. And, you know, other tournaments, the Big Bash runs for five weeks or so. So to have a window, you know, for teams to, or players to involve themselves in franchise cricket, it's not that transferable. The football, the football situation is different. Yeah, yeah, I think the bigger issue quickly um, with that is that every country essentially wants to have a T20 tournament. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so let's say if you had a window in April, <laughs> there there's be no a T20 way the IPL is going to go, well, we're not going to be going That's right. when Big Bash is happening and yeah. when Caribbean That's Premier right. League is happening because that in many ways would defeat the purpose oh. of now trying to get the best players and then some leagues would be watered down um, 
but I still think there is a way that it can be done. Well, they have to try, and I agree if with you. And, and the point that Fazir, it. who we consider a cricket visionary, uh, would have been making for several years now, that uh, there is is no seeming effort from the ICC standpoint to, to address it, and, and that's a huge problem. Yeah, yeah, it probably won't be addressed, by the way. That, that, that's what I think. It won't be addressed, but I hope it will be. Yeah, all right. We're going to address this one now, Ricardo and Lance. What about this? Leighton Sikani David saying that spikes are overrated and decided to run barefooted over 100 meters to prove his point. All right, so let's take a look at the run first. <laughs> okay. He's just talented. Okay. Mm. He so clocked 10.4 lines. Ah, spikes overrated. Yeah. Barefooted, faster than your personal best. By far. And, and yours as well. Yes. You, you, yours neglected, combined. you neglected to mention that. Both of yours combined. <laughs> what about spikes? Are they overrated? Ricardo, do you have anything to say for that? Lance? I can't comment on that. <laughs> I, I would like to know what time he would run in spikes. W without that comparison, yes. that's yep. a non-statement for me. No, I mean, 10-4 would... is a reasonably good time, but... I'm not sure. Maybe he's a 10 flat runner if he's yeah. in spikes. Okay, back to you. You always have a response. I agree with Lance. You're Maybe in spikes he'll run 10 2 or 10 1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Maybe he'll run 10 6. I don't know. I want to see him in spikes <laughs> and then we can make the determination. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's like you saying about running barefooted and runs 9 8 yes. and goes. Spikes are overrated. No, they are not because you're a 9 5 sprinter. Yeah. <laughs> so. Okay, fine. Let's move along. Khadija Bunny Show is now Manchester City's all-time record scorer in the Barclays Women's Super League. Let's head over to X now. All right, so John Izzel says, this is a big deal, Bunny Show. Joel says, we don't talk about Bunny Show enough. Sway, United's male team wishing they had her. <laughs> Clive Mullings, Bunny Show strikes again. Sage, is she on her way to being our most accomplished footballer? Well, I have a lot of time for Bonnie Shaw. Mm. She represents my team. I also have a lot of love for the Jamaica Reggae Girls. So I'm happy that she's on fire for the right side of Manchester. Lance. <laughs> I get the last I, I will ignore what, uh, what, what, what I just said and just Come say on. this, that um, in a team littered with uh, non-products of Jamaica's football yeah. um, domestic game. I, I think it's significant that the most successful of them all was produced by, by, by the Jamaican domestic season from high school at St. Jago, which is where she went, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, it's brilliant, it's brilliant. One of these days we should have a conversation about whether she is becoming Jamaica's most accomplished footballer. I was looking at the question. Oh, I thought you were just looking at me like, what's wrong with him? <laughs> Anyways, viewers, that's it from us for today. We're out of time, but thank you so much for joining us. And we'll be back tomorrow with another edition of the Sports Max Zone. Have a beautiful evening.